economies are reopening, workers are returning, but some of them are still collecting unemployment benefits. It is called work sharing, or short-term compensation, and it's become much more popular in recent months. Rahel Solomon has the details on the program that some are calling a win-win. Rahel, good morning. Hi, Becky. Good morning. So, yes, under this program, workers who may have otherwise been laid off instead see their hours reduced and can still receive partial unemployment insurance. And companies that need to save on payroll, well, they cut hours across their workforce instead of laying off workers, thereby retaining employees and avoiding the expensive costs associated with hiring new workers and then training them later. And states pay out less for unemployment insurance. So this is why supporters say it is a win-win. And in some places, the number of employers actually using this program, take a look at this, has jumped 5,000 percent since the pandemic hit. The program is currently available in 27 states, plus Washington, D.C., and typically here in the States just for full-time workers. Compare that to some other developed countries, including Canada and Germany, where even temporary or part-time workers can access this short-term compensation benefit. Becky. Rahel, it sounds like the states are taking things into their own hands. Congress has been talking for a while uh, about allowing some of them to continue to receive some portion of the federal benefits if they went back to work. But it sounds like the states are kind of ahead on that. So how, how do workers actually get enrolled in a program like this? So an employee can't actually apply or participate in this program until their company or employer has submitted a plan to the state and it's been approved. But employees do have a bit of flexibility. They can uh, cut hours 20 percent in one division, 40 percent in a different division. So there doesn't necessarily have to be uniformity across the entire workforce. There is a little bit of flexibility, but a worker can't participate until their employer has already had a plan approved by the state.